YouTube, how you doing? It's Coma Comics here. You can hear my voice is kind of shot. Uh, it's been a busy week. Last Tuesday, I went to see a band called Super Chunk, uh, probably my favorite band ever. Uh, they played in uh, Seattle, and you know, I'm too old to go to concerts on a Tuesday night anymore, but I did anyway. Totally, totally loved it, and it was a great show, but got back really late. Had uh, three soccer games to coach last week, and or yeah, three soccer games coached last week. I had three in a row next week. We've had a real crazy schedule. So been yelling a lot, um, winning a lot, which is cool. And then go Frontier Falcons, girls JV, middle school uh, soccer team. The girls are amazing. Love being their coach. But it gets tiring. So uh, we're here today to talk about... Emerald City Comic Con. Now, last video, I showed you all the books I was taking to sign there. So I'm going to show you all the books I got signed, which was most of them. I'm going to show you really quick because you've seen this before. And sorry for be out of the camera like that. And uh, I don't want to bore you all. But uh, if there's any good stories along the way, I'll stop. I'm going to cut this video at like 20 minutes tops. And then I'll just make part two, part three. Because, you know, I don't watch you guys when you go over 20 minutes unless you've got an amazing haul. Um, or you're live and I'm into it, uh, but it just it just takes a while, so we'll we'll kind of pace it out, okay? So I got um, Dan Parent. He was like he was kind of happy to see that I that I had this comic Archie Sharknado. I don't think it's a big comic. It's just this is during the big Sharknado craze and got it. I got Dan Parent and Matt Rosenberg on this, which is pretty cool. Um, M Matt Rosenberg is a little MR somewhere, and Dan Parent's up there on top of mine. Oh, there's MR right before the A and Archie. So that was kind of cool. I like that cover a lot, too. Um, so Marguerite Bennett was one of a number of artists that had uh, a three-comic limit. And I don't know where my other Bennett's are. They're out of order here. Sorry. Three-comic limit, which, you know, I sort of... I didn't mind. I understood there's a lot of people who are trying to flip this stuff on eBay. Um, but it was like James Tinian, Matt Rosenberg, Ryan Brown, Charles Sewell, um, a whole bunch of these guys I had this three um, book limit and then is $5 a book after that. And I had, and they had like some people walking up and down the aisles checking to make sure that you weren't getting extra signed. And I asked James Tinian, I said, you know, what's up with the, the why are you guys charging now? And I asked him friendly. I wasn't like angry or upset. And he said, look, you know, artists do sketches and, and they're going to get the cash. Like writers love conventions, but they lose money. Um, and so they hired this company to like put a limit. The company was there before the people were there. The company prints the signs. It says what times people are signing. If you're an artist, like Art Adams was there under the same company. They were um, setting up sketches for him. So it was kind of really cool. Like I understood it. It didn't bother me. If I'd known ahead of time, I would have bought you know, three books uh, Thursday and three books for tomorrow, Sunday. But anyway, um, you know, I was super happy to get Bennett's signature on this and get Bennett and Tinian on this, um, get both of them to sign these. It's really cool. Uh, this is, I got two copies of, of Animosity Number 1. Um, I had one up on eBay for like 10 bucks. It wasn't selling. So uh, I'm definitely going to be using one of these signed uh, Animosity Number 1 as it might give away for my 100 subscriber contest, which is only eight subscribers away. Come on, YouTube. Help Tacoma Comics out. Let's do that. All right. Um, I, I got this one, but the other A-Force Number 1 from 2015, I didn't have that one. And I could have had um, Bennett and Wilson sign that. So I was a little upset. You know, this animosity, um, uh, Marguerite told me that she didn't think this was um, her best pitch. She was shocked when they accepted it at, at Aftershock, which is really a new company, but so psyched. So, yeah, I, I met G. Willow Wilson, and I got Art Adams to sign this. And Art Adams was really funny. He was talking to somebody that was asking for, um, God, that's beautiful. Let's just look at that again, man. Oh, God, what an amazing cover. Um, somebody was like asking about sketches. He's like, oh, they cost too much. They're going to charge you like two, three hundred dollars. He was talking about his own sketches. It's like, don't bother. Just, you know, go, go spend money on a book and I'll sign it for you. Um, so it's kind of funny to hear him downplaying like the, the, the cost of that. So these are just Wilson books. I got signature on, you know, she's one of my favorites. Miss Marvel is one of my favorites. I, and she was so cool. I, I left my, one of my two bags of books over, um, with the peonies at ElfQuest from ElfQuest. And I was like, oh my gosh. And she's like, what? I'm like, I, I got to go. And I had just given her my books and started like talking to her. She's like, go, I'll take care of them. So she sat and signed everything. Um, first appearance, uh, animated version. So she sat and signed everything for me, which I thought was super, super cool. Um, and then I came back and everything was signed. So you saw in the lead up to this video, my absolute favorite part so far of Comic-Con was meeting Chris Claremont. That was like dream come true. 
uh, the guy was as cool as can be. Um, so I got him signed first appearance here of uh, Mr. Sinister. That's a really nice copy I picked up. Um, I felt bad, man. My, my LCS found one for me, and I saw him. Atomic Comics is at, um, at Emerald City, and he's like, Ian, I got this for you. And I was like, oh, man, I, I just bought that. And he had a nice, just as nice a copy as, as, as this one, right? And he had it for 15 bucks, and I spent 25 on that. I felt really dumb. Um, I got the first, or maybe it was this one, the first Jubilee. I can't even remember now. But he's got he's got um, some books for me that I'm definitely gonna gonna pick up from him. I was really happy that he held those out for me, um, even though I already have them here. I got New Mutants number number one signed. This is you know this is like a no maybe it's like a seven zero no probably probably a six but you know not bad. So I brought this out. And I'm trying to you know think what do I say to Chris Claremont? Um, I'm like you know Kitty Pride was my my first crush when I was 13, and he's like she was a lot of people's first crush. I'm like yeah definitely, and um you know I'm like uh, what what do you say? He goes uh, too bad she had to grow up, or I said something like you know and then she grew up and uh, and he's like she didn't have to, and I'm like what? And he's like yeah you know the great things about comics is they, they can always just keep people the same age so he was like like the simpsons he really didn't want and didn't like the fact that like his characters had aged he liked having like the teenager in, in that um so this is uh my copy which this is a really bad one right and it's got crinkles i don't know if that's going to show up um but it's, it's a pretty yeah you can start seeing some of that crinkly with the lights on so this is not a great copy but you know i, I figured i'd get this one signed iconic cover um and so i actually picked up another one of those that i'll show you later so claremont was charging and five bucks a signature so i got 10 books signed that's that's put in the bank pretty pretty strong there but you know what i totally thought it was worth it i did not care meeting the man talking to him you know i asked him if he could could write some stuff some uh catchphrases and he's like oh we just don't have enough time um because i love the way wolverine and nightcrawler used to uh you know uh, Dr. Himmel and Tavarish and just use all these phrases uh, towards each other. I'm trying to find something here that he, he commented on. I thought it was in this one, but maybe it was 107. Um, so it was just, you know, it was really cool. He was sitting there and, and, and talking to me, and I was trying not to make a fool of myself. Hopefully I acquitted myself pretty well. Got that nice uh, good copy there of 212. Great cover. There's 108. Let's see if this was the one. Nope, there's got to be 107 then. Last one I got signed by him. So yeah, I, I really went all out for um, some Claremont signatures. All right, so this, he opened it up. Like I didn't even tell him, he just opened it up and he started reading the dialogue in this. And there's one point here where uh, one of the characters down here screams aliens, right? And I guess that uh, whoever that's referring to is the star jammers or whoever were originally from earth. And so Claremont's like aliens, how could they be aliens? They're not, they're from earth. And at the time I didn't know that he wasn't even reading the dialogue until he opened up and realized that line wasn't in there. So I don't know if it was a line that he wanted to add or just, he was using himself, but the guy was just so cool. Uh, he was really friendly and, and oh, what can I say? I've gone on enough, but loved him. All right. So then I'm walking around and getting stuff signed uh, came across this lady, Hannah Blumenreich, and she uh, um, just had some stuff out. And but this Jughead, this this gender bending Jughead, was pretty awesome. So I bought that from her, and and she signed it. Uh, and then I didn't even know this because Twenty Two just came out on Wednesday. I didn't go to my comic book shop on Wednesday, and she uh, is the artist. Fortunately, this is a really bad copy it got crinkled she's the artist on on uh the not safe for work version of um sex criminals number 22 this one i can show you um so it's just like a, a little role reversal there and she put the uh the jug head crown on top of uh the main character there so i thought that was pretty cool some of these covers i'm not going to show you um you know I'll keep my channel relatively kid friendly um kyle higgins was there so i got this power ranger zero i've got a few more power rangers i'll I'll bring back for him. Um, like I said, Matt Rosenberg. So I've hooked up with the Phoenix Resurrection and the Secret Warriors. And we're, I love Secret Warriors. I hope you guys read that 12 issues that he did. It's really awesome. Jody Hauser was there. I got her to sign this. And oops, Kevin Wada signed on the side there, but I only got her to sign one. Maybe I'll bring a second one back to him. 
totally forgot. And then Jody Hauser on that. And if you're not reading the Forces of Destiny, it's actually, I, I read the Ahsoka Padme one and I was really like shocked at how interesting I found it. Um, Bitch Planet got Matt Wilson. He's a colorist for a lot of the Wick Div. This is the Wick Div um, variation. So what I will do is I will bring this tomorrow because I'm meeting Kelly Sue tomorrow. She's stopping by a jewelry um, display that's doing uh, a line of non-compliant jewelry from Bitch Planet. Uh, and I just picked this up at Half Price Book. I will rip that awful sticker off and have Kelly Sue sign that. It said two book limit, but it didn't say anything about Funko Pops. So let's see what we do. Uh, Marie Enger, you can't see in the dark there in the, the top, um, but she is uh, the letterer on this. Matt and, and Sharon Kent do the, the writing and stuff. And Marie's like, I know the ending of that because they're up to issue 23 and it's only going 24 issues. So I was really jealous there. This one I will not show you, um, but Joe Kino and Ace signed, signed the inside of this. Uh, it's pretty cool of him. And he also signed my America number one. He also signed my Howard the Duck number one. And down the bottom here, my uh, Howard the Duck, the first appearance of Gwenpool in a comic, not on the cover. Her first appearance in the cover was Deadpool's Secret Secret Wars. Uh, then Erica Henderson um, and Ryan North on Unbeatles, both Squirrel Girls, both number ones that came out the same time as those Howard the Duck number ones. I will definitely not show you this one. Uh, Erica Henderson signed this. If you want to laugh, go ahead and um, grab yourself. What was that? Number thir number 18. That's hysterical. And then I had the free comic book day one, so I got North and Henderson on that because I'm obsessive. I had this one for Mitch. Um I waited in line for him, and so he had these, uh, and they were pre-signed, $15. I'm like, man, I could have bought that for four and just hadn't brought it to the show. So I had him write Dark Side Is, which I thought, you know, it ain't worth 15 bucks, but it made me feel better about it. Uh, really hard to see down here in the gold, um, but that is Chris Anka, who is the artist on this um, Generations cover. For And I already had G. Willow Wilson sign that before. And apparently, um, nope, can't show you that one either. He's also on, on this. So you can tell that I like sex criminals and I like collecting the not safe for work ones. All right, ElfQuest, I'm just going to run these through all the number ones from the different series they did. One thing about ElfQuest is I had pre-cut holes for people to sign. Wendy and Richard Peeney did not like the placement of my holes in the plastic bags. And most of them, they had me take the comics out so they could sign. Other, other artists were like really psyched that I'd already done that, that they didn't have to take them out of the bags. Um, so it's kind of like a never win situation, right? So it was just really cool meeting them. Um, they weren't as talkative as Claremont or, you know, she was worried about um, getting a chair. The chair she had wasn't fitting her very well. Um, so he was so kept, comment, kept commenting on my the holes in my plastic bag. So um, I didn't get like, ElfQuest, you know, I told him that I loved ElfQuest, my kids are reading it, and I told Wendy that, you know, I cried when the wolf Night Runner died when I was like 15, but that I cried at different points reading it because I'm a father now reading it to my kids. She thought that was sweet, but I, in my head, I imagined this whole like connection discussion with like some of my heroes from my childhood. Don't we all do that and like it never works out? Sorry. So God Hates Astronauts, I, I, I get that, but I didn't get Charles Soleil to sign this one that he did with um, Ryan Brown. Uh, but what Ryan Brown did show me was he's got, this is sort of inappropriate, um, a Kickstarter for um, a hardcover of new stories by 3D Cowboy, who is the narrator of God Hates Astronauts. That opens up April 2nd. I'm going to get on that. Got a little Josh Williamson action here. This one kind of ticked me off, too. So I, I got that. And uh, sorry, that didn't tick me off. Adi Granov is on that in gold. It's really hard to see underneath my finger there. Signed this one down down where I wanted him to. I was tempted to get this one witnessed and slabbed. I'm not, you know, I'm not a big slab witness type of guy, but I was tempted to do that. Um, the CGC guys are there because a lot of people want to grind up to do that. CGC was going to charge forty dollars to have a witness and then get get it slabbed and put it in the signature series. But then if I wanted a signature for CGC, Adi Granov was charging an extra $10. Which I don't begrudge him, right? You know, people are making money off of his signature, so he's charging for it. But I'm not spending 50 bucks on a brand new book. Um, it just didn't didn't work out for me, so I said no. 
Uh, Terry Moore was there, and I thought that was super cool. Got him to sign this, um, and both of my motor girls. I picked up another one of these, the convention, really cheap, so I'll get that signature, signature too. How about signed as well? Chad Harden did this one. Now I'm really regretting not standing in a long line for Amanda Hard Amanda Connor and, and Palm Jimmy Palmiotti uh, to get that signed, but my loss. That was at Rose City two years ago. A Mother Panic, um, number one variants, Sean uh, Tom, sorry, Tommy Edwards and Judy Hauser. James Tinian hit me up with his signature on The Devastator and Batman Who Laughs. And then uh, Backstagers. I got that sign from Tinian. That's a fun comic, especially I worked stage crew in high school because I couldn't act. A lot of my friends went to shows, so I just built the set and took them down. Uh, this one, this is the book that stayed with me. I've had it for over 30 years. They signed that there. This is the hardcover of the original um, is it Star uh, Donning um, productions of this. But that was pretty cool. Elf Quest number one. I like the way they signed there. They both signed on the same slant. That is pretty cool. All right, that was everything I got signed. Um, I got another video. I'm going to show you some cosplay from uh, day one and show you the haul from day one. And then uh, I actually did a mini haul on Facebook today because I'm a little insane. Um, and I'll show you that. And, uh, you know, that'll be done for a weekend. But like I said, you know, if you don't subscribe to this, please do. Um, it's, uh, it's 92 and I'd love to hit a hundred and, and trigger contest, maybe throwing some of these books that I just got. That would be really awesome. Uh, comments on anything you see, any, any of your favorite, uh, people, if you went to ECCC, let me know and, uh, chat about it. Um, you know, I just had a really great, great time on Thursday and I'm going back to Sunday and, uh, hope to have a good time and show you guys some more cool stuff. All right. Take care. Talk to you soon.